Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I'll be covering the vStack function. This function can help you quickly combine arrays of data into a single larger array. Whether those arrays are on your existing worksheet, on separate tabs, or even in an entirely different worksheet altogether. Let's jump in. As you can see, the only required argument for the vStack function are the arrays you want to combine. To start with the basics, if I want to combine the information for team 1 and team 2, I can highlight the first array, enter a comma, and then highlight the second array. After I click enter, you'll see my data has been combined. And of course this is dynamic, so if I change John's name in team 1 to Henry, you'll see that data is updated in my vStack function. One of the optional fields you can add to the vStack function is headers for your columns. I'll begin by entering the vStack function. Then to add my column headers, I'll enter an opening bracket. Then I'll put the name of the column headers in quotations. Close bracket. Then after a comma, I can include the arrays that I want to combine. So like before, I'll highlight the information for team one, another comma, and then team two. After I click enter, you'll see not only is my data present and combined, but the column headers have been added as well. As a final more advanced tip, let's take a look at how to combine data from multiple tabs within my spreadsheet. You'll notice at the bottom I have different tabs of different team information for team 1, team 2, and team 3, and I want to combine these three teams in the All Teams tab at the beginning. We'll begin by entering the vStack function, and in order to combine the information from all tabs within my spreadsheet, I'm going to use an array argument. To set that up, we'll enter a single quote. I'll enter the name of the first tab, followed by a colon. Then I'll enter the name of the final tab, followed by single quotes and an exclamation point. All that's left to do is enter the array of cells that I want to pull in the data for, which is A2 through B5, close parentheses, and click Enter. And you see my data has been combined. The array argument that I listed within this function will pull in the starting tab and the ending tab, as well as any tabs that come in between. So to show you a quick example, if I were to take team one and create a copy, if I head back to the All Teams tab, you can see my list has been extended, even though it's a duplicate, just to show you that this function would work. And finally, team, if you no longer want this function to be dynamic and you just wanna keep the values, you can highlight all of your data, use Control C to copy, and then right click and paste as values. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.